Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this model, separate 3D printable uh, part. We are going to model it step by step together. Let's open a new part first. And then in font plane we are going to create a sketch. We start with line and then we place it. We come to our point with our cursor and then continue with an arc and then combine it with a line again so then we can place here one center line we convert to construction geometry make it vertical now start to give our dimensions here we have a length of 50 here as well as you see it is still uh, not fully defined something is missing hmm. For that we are going to combine this two point with a line construction geometry make it horizontal and then select this line press ctrl and then select uh, select our point and say coincident as you see now it, everything is fully defined in black we can continue now we close sketch and we start a new sketch on top plane and then we take a circle and place in this corner this point the diameter of 20 and then we close our sketch we select swap and then we will make a swap then we will reach a form as you see on the screen it's all right and now I'm going to create a 2x chamfer here the first value of 2 and on front top plane I'm going to create a plane again which is 2 millimeter off from original plane and then on this plane a sketch and then convert this entity here after doing that we go to curves and under we select helix in the, in the value of 4 pitch and the revolution is 10 we create here one helix and then I say ok now we should look from a uh, white plane but first we need to create another plane we are coming to this point where we, our helix start the center value center to center value was 50 and half of it 25 and we create here a plane and on this plane we create a sketch and we look normal too I will start with my lines as always I do here I will hide plane 1 to make sure that we are able to see everything clearly after this operation we create here a form as you see on the screen And I will combine this to center line of this uh, line, construction geometry, and make it vertical. A little bit change the form, but it doesn't hurt anyone. We will make this to horizontal. We click on it, right click, select chain, and we go to mirror entities and mirror about this axis. So it is pretty much uh, done, but we need to add some values here we have a value of 2.5 here we are going to have a value of uh, sorry value of 10 in this line but 10 well sorry and here it was 5 I forget it sorry yeah, it is fully defined now as you see here in black we can continue we select sketch go sweep cut and first is sketch the second is the pad and then we select it program creates this nice shape for me I can hide my uh, helix create here a sketch and then convert that surface then after I will cut it this done 
we select this two operation go to linear pattern and we will select that direction with the right plane will be okay for this one and we enter the value of 50 simply we copy it our thread to the other side we are not going to make mirror because then uh, uh, your thread will be left and right hand we are not uh, aiming to do something like that in the front plane we create a sketch again sketch and in the center I will create a line it's okay we can hide now solid body and start to work here simply we create here a rectangle let's combine rectangle with our center line so we don't need to make extra alignment and the values will be 55 for outside 15 for inside and the height is 12.5 and we go make a revolve this is the revolve operation and I'm going to show my solid bodies now I have two solid body and I'm going to copy this revolve this revolve to the other side uh, but we can better we make one operation then do that we first copy the threaded part we made one x copy and we hide the original and we have now copy of that one we select combine we will make a subtraction this will be main body and this will be, will be the one who needs to be subtracted from the uh, model we did that but before that we need one operation here adding a good chamfer here which is in the value of 2.5 and now if we show again we will see that everything here copied hmm. it's all right now the, the thing that I want to do again a linear pattern white plane selected and then I need this body the center was 50 we simply copy it there and we keep this value here and we are going to make this one 5 mm offset so 5 will be our offset value and then the value is now 55 by 45 and I'm going to create here now uh, a cutout I can hide this one from top I look normal too and I create here a sketch and I will place here a line and something like this like we can better mirror mirror about this one let's make it this one 45 degree and here 22.5 and here let's make it 4 or 5 let's try with 5 if it is not looking very nice we can always change it let's close it like this after this operation we go to extrude cut and we make true all and we select the body only this body will be cut after this operation we are going to make a circular pattern here you select the feature that you are going to copy here the amount and here the the, the direction simply a circular surface will give you a possibility of making a copy like this it is looking all right but uh, we missed something we will add here a chamfer They will be in 1.25 for now it's looking all right and again a copy now what we will do we will make it again a extrude boss instead of cut now up to surface will help you to determine to you the thickness that you would like to create merge body will be active 
but this will be merged in this one. Now we select both extrude circular pattern in this direction 12 and we select OK. Now we created our gear at the other side and please make sure that you are doing it this way. But if you are going to print this one you should provide some uh, gap in between. Now we don't have any gap that means that we don't have any tolerance that uh, will be difficult to work with them because they will have no gap. So here we have a 52 and I'm going to go to extrude cut, flip side to cut, 45 degree and simply a chamfer will be equated in this way. I will create a reference geometry to copy this chamfer. Instead of selecting each item I want to do something like this and a mirror. This will be mirror plane. This is the object that we would like to mirror. But I see my uh, value is different than the other one. I think it should be 53. Yes. Now almost we are done. We are going to create here a normal to sketch from center. We go here and add 2x circle concentric. Here value is 4. Here value is 10. 91. Let's try. It's looking all right. And then extra pass space. Mid plane and 4. Merge result active and we will combine to this body. And then we come to fit it. Say the value of fit it 2. And I fill it everywhere. I have noticed after I modeled it, the values are quite big. It's in the size of 100. Maybe it will be very great to have this in the half scale. Then you will have a really nice thing on your hand. You can do a scale after and everything will be all right. Or you can model it by dividing simply my values into two. This is done. One thing we are missing, our uh, fillets. Mm, we can add here fillets. Simply each edge will have fillet. And I will pause video and then I will come back after. Hey all, I completed uh, adding my uh, fillets and if you follow all the steps at the end you're gonna have such a model as well. Thanks for watching and uh, please do not forget again if you want to print it you should give some gap between the objects otherwise it will not work. It's like a tolerancing uh, some value. I hope you enjoyed to watch my video. If you like it please hit the like button and make comment. See you in another video.